Revisions in SAP allow companies to allocate stock for specific purpose or future demands. In this tutorial, we focus on creating a reservation using the MB21 transaction code. Open the MB21 and press Enter. The base date is auto-populated with today's date, indicating when the stock will be moved into reserved stock, so leave it as is. Check the check date box to, ins to ensure the system verifies the operational availability of the warehouse on the reservation base date. In the movement tab, click the match code button and select 251 consumption for sales from warehouse for reservation related to future sales. Enter the plant code MI00 and press enter. Enter the GL account 7200000. Specify the call center NASA 1000. Enter the mature number EPAD 1000. and for quantity 200. Before posting this reservation, let's review the current stock availability in the system. Open a new session by entering slash O and access transaction code MMBE to view the stock overview report. In the material field, enter EPAD 1000 if it's not auto-populated and leave the plant as MI00. Execute the report to see the current stock status. You can see you have 2,600 units in unrestricted use stock. You can also see you don't have any quantity in the reserved stock column. Toggle back to the reservation screen and click the save button. A success message will confirm that the document has been posted successfully. Return to the stock overview report. Refresh the page to see the updated stock information. Notice that re the reserved quantity 200 now appears in the reserved column at the plant MI00, where the unrestricted stock remains unaffected. By creating a reservation in SAP using the MB21 transaction code, you can ensure the availability of materials to meet forecasted demands on time. Reservations allow companies to allocate stock for a specific purpose and maintain efficient inventory management.